I'm not looking forward to the storm, trust me. <laughs> Despite wishes that it would stay away, the storm moved into the seacoast area around 8 o'clock in the morning. At a local diner, the storm was forcing them to close early. I desperately want to be the guy that's open during all the snowstorms, but it just doesn't pay. Neil was working with his son Luke, who had the day off from school. And Luke was not alone. More than 700 schools or school districts across the state closed. Looks like it's coming in pretty quick, and I would assume that at, at some point in the next couple hours, we're not going to pre, pretty much not move too far from the house. Frank Canaldo was clearing off an area for his generator in case it's needed. Utility companies say they're concerned that the high winds accompanying the storm could bring down lines. The storm is also expected to dump possibly a foot or more of snow on the seacoast. Frankie Denardi says that combination can make for a frustrating time. Especially blizzard conditions, you do one pass down this parking lot, you turn around and there's another two inches behind you. Denardi says the best thing people can do is stay off the roads and give the professionals plenty of room to operate. The LaCroix were planning on heeding that advice. The road condition up here at the beach gets pretty bad with the wind with the ocean. Just going to bring this car right down the road and we're going in and stay in. Uh, we are now about uh, 40 minutes away from high tide. You can see the waves have washed up here on the beach. So far, though, even though there is a concern about coastal flooding, I just checked in with the Hampton Fire Department. They haven't had any reports of problems so far. Reporting live at Hampton Beach, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.